right, so 11 years of Synergy Nights. You know, I wanted to start asking questions, but I just have to say, Synergy <laughs> Nights for me has been one of the greatest things that ever happened in the city. So how oh, does that feel wow. for you? Well, first of all, that's a big statement, um, so thank you for saying that. But the open mic that we started 11 years ago, um, we started it essentially to create a space where people felt inclusive and connected. We wanted a place where artists felt seen, supported, and uh, we did that. So people have described it as therapeutic. They've said it feels like home. Um, people have used it to get over uh, divorce, um, you know, unhealthy thoughts, depression, anxiety, and also artists have used it to work out their music and energy uh, to be able to uh, get familiar with audiences and build audience through our audience. So it's been a beautiful space. Awesome. What does it feel like for you? For me as an artist behind the mic, it is also, it gives me an opportunity to try out new material mm -hmm. um, that I haven't performed at any gigs. I've been booked there, so if it works at Synergy, it'll, it'll probably work, you know, out at gigs. And also, it gives me an opportunity to learn how to hone in my anxiety when I'm on stage singing to the audience and how to connect with them and kind of work the crowd. It lets I'm, me try different things. Gotcha. I mean, I think about Synergy being like... 11 years is crazy because yes. I was rocking with y'all semi-high school into college. Yes. So for folks to grow through this experience and y'all have grown, yes. why do you still want people who have not figured out that y'all are here 11 years of this process to know about y'all? Yeah, so no, absolutely. Uh, I think because one of the most fascinating things about the open mic is that we have grown significantly by word of mouth. And in 11 years, we, we at one point before the pandemic, we were meeting every month, sometimes for years, twice a month. And every single time we had new people. I can't think of one time that I asked it has somebody not been here before and nobody said anything. And so I think it's really important for people to be able to find spaces that feel like community, that feel warm, that feel connected. And one of the unique things about our audience is that they feel like a part of the show. So you don't have to be an artist to be here. When people think about open mics, they have this weird TV sensationalized thought of just a, a guy with incense on the stage saying corny things. But it's really more than that. It's entertaining um, for the audience as well as for the artists. Awesome. All right, so this is happening on September 28th. Why do you want folks to hurry up and get the tickets and do all the things? Yeah, so we are a by faith open mic and we don't do pre-sale tickets and that has worked very well for us. Um, we average about 80 to 100 people. I expect more than that at this one. We have two featured artists, OB West, who is coming from Vegas by way of Los Angeles. And then we have uh, J um, uh, Jenna Vox, who is coming from Queens, New York. These are two dynamic performers that will be in the building. They're gonna draw a crowd. And so I encourage you to get there early. We start at eight o'clock PM and usually by 10, 10, 30, we are super full and loving on each other by shoulder to shoulder. Gotcha. All right. Mm -hmm. So now there's also an opportunity for some artists to get involved as well. And I want us to show that information so the folks at home can write it down really quickly if we can. But you guys have something for artists coming soon that they can kind of work together in a program? Absolutely. We just started an Artist Edge, uh, an artist development program. It is an eight-week program. She, uh, Patrice is one of the cohorts that's going through it. We have seven cohorts going through it now. And uh, you can just stay connected to our social media and join our mailing list for more ways to do that. We're doing that in partnership with Succeed and Elevate, which is a nonprofit organization for small business owners. Gotcha. I mean, you know, folks always love to ask artists to just do their thing on the spot. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tell She you. is dynamic. I'm going to step. If, if we do, I'm here for it. Because you sing, you can't blow the speakers this morning. I want you to tell the people where to go to find your music. How about we do that instead? Yes. Um, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Vertrice. That is V as in victory, E-R-T-R-E-A-C-E. -E. And okay. stream my song, Butterflies, on, on Apple Music. And all streaming platforms, Vertrice Sanders. Mm -hmm. on streaming platforms. See, because I heard you have a voice, so we, this morning, we're not going to do that to it's the people. It's insane. Nine o'clock. She you changes the room. It's, it's a nighttime voice. The they artists. got to come see it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the nighttime voice. They're going to be performing. The artists are going to be performing that night as well, too. So come see her as well as everybody else. Awesome. So again, y'all have a lot of different things going on. Synergy and something for it. Succeed and Elevate to partner together. Anything else we did not ask that the folks got to know? Uh, no, I think if you just want to have a good time, if you want to escape from life um, yeah I think it's a really good space if you've never been I say come out tell a friend and bring a friend we would love to have you 